Well, hello there, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Fellwine. So in today's episode, we're gonna explore the boss arena and see what the area looks like around it. And also potentially looking for a place to set up a new base. Hopefully I can put one close by, but we'll have to see what the terrain looks like. So I already made my way over to the water over here, because I think uh, we need to go right around there-ish. So if I turn on my hot chair and put up the map. So I made my way over to like right around here somewhere. So I uh, took a walk around the entire area and this seems to be the best spot to make my way over there. I was gonna go over here at first but this is like a super steep cliff, cliff face so that wasn't really gonna be ideal. So looks like we need to go a little bit south west-ish which I think is that direction. It kind of looks like it so yeah. <laughs> Alright let's go ahead and place down a workbench and our lovely boat. And let's go ahead and start sailing and uh, see what we're dealing with over there. Alright, so if nothing else... Ooh, we got the wind with us. Perfect. Yeah, if nothing else happens, then uh, I'll just meet you guys over there. Here we go. Just arrived and already spotting the boss arena. I think those little uh, finger-like stone thingies are... Is the one. It's been a minute, so I might not be remembering it. But it does look uh, very promising at least. Looks like we got a gorgeous little river over here. That is awesome. Got a nice hill over there too, which might be the perfect location for a castle. So I'm still a little unsure which base I want to build first, but I'm definitely leaning more towards the castle. And I think you guys were a little bit leaning towards that as well. So most likely we're going to end up doing that. But if I find like the perfect space for like a farmstead, then we're going to have to do that first, of course. Oh, hi. Looks like we got the welcoming party already. <laughs> hey guys, how we doing? Let's uh, go ahead and take care of you. Ow. Didn't realize you were a one star. No problem though. Have a weekend handle. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump all of this in here for now. Uh, looks like I brought a little bit too much deer height. That's fine. If we do need to set up a little outpost. Oh no, that's right. I already had that. No, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, I see another tar pit, of course. Why wouldn't we have a tar pit over here? <laughs> Ow. Hate how long it takes for to pull your weapons out, because these death skeeters, man, always get me. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, I'd say this is a decent spot for a boss arena. Would have preferred something better, but that's okay. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We need five totems, holy crap. I only found two so far, so <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Alright, not too shabby. I like this location. Let's go up this hill and see what we're dealing with here. I would love to find a little place that's uh, like below a little cliff. I mean above a cliff. Because I feel like when you build a castle, you have to build it in like a more of a strategic location. That way it kind of feels a lot more castle-like. Yeah, it looks like we got ourselves some snow actually. Which is interesting. The tiniest uh, mountain biome ever. <laughs> I kind of like it though. It's cool. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't see... Oh, look at that river over there. Oh, that is cool. It looks like there's some decent open space over there. Oh, never mind. This freaking camp uh, hadn't loaded in yet. I was like, we might have to build this farmstead first, but... <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a little look again. Let's see here... Yeah, this river is freaking awesome, man. I've always wanted to build alongside a river. And this might be a good spot for it. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we really want to, we can pretty much destroy everything in this camp. I think everything is destructible. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost positive. Got a tiny little river over here too. That is interesting. Let's go uh, over to that big river again. I guess potentially we could build our castle along this river too. Guess that wouldn't be too bad. Oh yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I think our boat is right over there too, right? Somewhere? Probably. Yeah, there's tons of space over here. Alright. Yeah, this might be where we build our farmstead. There's lots of open space and uh, a few tar pits here and there, but I can deal with that. Yeah, this is very promising. Alright, anyway... Go ahead, take care of these guys real quick. Oh, what the heck was that? Just got launched for no reason. That was weird. 
Uh, it's maybe bad though. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to handle two of these guys at once. Oh, there. <laughs> it's climbing on top of each other. Interesting. Take care of these guys real quick, hopefully. There we go. The other one is running away, so that's good. Oh, crap. We're in trouble. Uh, heal. Poison resistance. Oh man, this is annoying. Uh, get wrecked. Ow. Switch to my other weapon here. There we go. We're fine. Can handle this. Where did those things uh, come from? I didn't even see a tar pit over there. Very weird. Ugh, stamina. Lots of destruction over here. Yeah, I guess there must be a tar pit hiding in there somewhere. Where did the locks go? There you are. <laughs> Turn right back to him and he runs away. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I think most likely we're just gonna have to... Dang it. Stupid Deskidos. A2. Another one. Oh, it's the same one. <laughs> oh no, never mind. There's two. Alright. I'm glad I can at least take a few hits from them without dying. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna build our farmstead right around there somewhere. And then our castle we're just gonna build on top of uh, the cliff here. Near that uh, snow area. Or maybe even in the snow area. Could do that. I mean, I'm kind of sick of the snow to be honest, because... Uh, <laughs> Dealing with the mountain base was kind of tedious. I mean, I mean it was pretty cool and a nice uh, change of an area, but yeah, I get tired of snow pretty fast. Especially because it's so bright. Like I had to turn down multiple graphic settings because of the snow. Because it has some kind of effect, especially with like the bloom and the, the light shafts or whatever it's called. So yeah, it is getting dark though, so we need to figure out something here soon. Don't want to be caught out here during the night. Alright, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to build a quick little shack to uh, snuggle up for the night and uh, get back to you guys here in the morning. Alright, so see you guys back here soon. Alright, so I ended up wandering around for quite a bit and I think I found finally found the location that I was looking for, at least for the most part. And I think this is the best we can get. As you can see, I uh, ended up setting up a little place to sleep over here. So it's right across from the boss arena actually. Got this little right at the entrance of the river. And there's this, uh, I think this is called like a, this is more or less like a peninsula. And I think it would suffice pretty well, especially with the kind of design that I have in mind. It is going to be more like in the length rather than in uh, the width. Of course, uh, strategic position wise, it's not 100% ideal. I mean, it's got a nice little moat natural moat in between which is good of course we do have this little cliff face over here i was tempted to build over here at first but after some consideration i didn't really like this spot to be honest i mean it's definitely nice and it could definitely build a quite a nice castle over here but i think it's not really gonna work for me unfortunately stupid youtube commercial there was a freaking ad from six minute ad holy crap anyway um what was I saying again before I got distracted? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think this spot will work a lot better in my opinion. So yeah, all we gotta do now is get up the resources that we need. I need mostly stone, but I gotta go back to the uh, plains outpost to get up all the materials. So, oh, I gotta eat. There we go. Hopefully pretty soon, yeah, I can start looking into getting some better food going. I know I can make bread already, but I gotta set up like all the workstations and stuff, which I haven't really gotten around to do that yet. And I wasn't planning on building those over at the outpost, so maybe we can build a quick kitchen over here somewhere, maybe? Potentially. <laughs> I'm not really sure how much progress we're gonna make on the castle today, so yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of the castle, I kinda wanna do like a viking styled castle, if that makes sense. Of course, the only thing inspiration wise that comes to mind is like Dragon's Reach from Skyrim and I think we're gonna pull a lot of inspiration from that but I mainly want to just freestyle build it and uh, kind of see where we go but yeah if there's a lot of similarities between my castle and the Skyrim castle then uh, that's the reason why so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get up all the materials and uh, I'll bring you guys back again and we're back again so I 
got a little bit of a confession to make. Hey, <laughs> can't figure out how to make this castle work at all. Like I've been, I pretty much spent an entire day just trying to plan things out and working with stuff and I don't know, my brain just won't cooperate with it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I got a decent idea now. Like I spent maybe like five to 10 hours trying to work things out. I even made a backup world and just messed around with things in creative and even then I barely got was able to make a entrance. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna uh, try things out and uh, see where we go from there. So first thing I do want to have is a, let's see here, I need to, I need to put a floor down like this. Cause the, ah, come on, why is the range so short? Pull this card over here real quick. Yeah so heavy there we go amazing all right um what was i doing again oh yeah so i want the height to be like this i think yeah that's perfect all right so we're gonna do one two and three uh actually let's pull this over here yeah like that and then three on this side too and then if things won't want to cooperate please there we go. Yeah, I want to have a lookout tower coming out over here. Like that. Uh, yeah, that's a decent size. I like it. And then we're going to have a entrance going right over here. So we're going to do two. And then two more over here. This will be the entrance. It's so crazy that I'm having so much trouble building a castle. I mean, I'm not typically a castle builder anyway. I mean, I love castles by itself, but yeah, I'm not very uh, familiar with building them, unfortunately. Is it getting dark already? I'm pretty sure I just slept. Oh, that's weird. All right, let me go out and make it morning again. <laughs> oh, here we go. Actually being hunted and... It seems to be working for once. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi guys, welcome to the party. I actually forgot I was gonna turn off the raids. But um, I'll take a little hunted for now. I don't mind that. It's the other raids that kind of bore me. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take a lot of free uh, wolf meat and stuff. No matter if I do. Just gotta keep an eye on my stamina. Man, they do send out a lot, a lot of wolves. Man, they do send out a lot of wolves. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a good thing I'm building over here now, because if it was at my other base, then uh, my crops would have been destroyed probably. And that would have sucked. There we go. Hunt is over. Hi. There we go. Hey, excuse me. The hunt is over. Stop it. <laughs> what in the world? There we go. All good. It's a shame not a one star would have showed up because I would have at least tried to capture it. That's okay though. Alright, anyway, I got something going over here. Oh, even my food. So yeah, over here I want to have like a little... Um, it will either be like a barracks or a stable. Or maybe even a smithy. But I um, got ourselves a little courtyard over here. And I think what I want to do... If I go out by one... Uh, let's say... By six maybe let's see one two three four five six there we go uh yeah that should be enough space i hope and i want to go start working my way up if i can snap this staircase there we go amazing and uh, stack these up let's see maybe i they'll go a little bit too far out or in Whichever you want to prefer. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see here. So let's go ahead and make a little stone road real quick. Then we turn. Actually, you know what? This is not too bad. Yeah, I'll take it. This is good. Alright. So now we need to... What would be the best way to do this? I think with these things, maybe stack them up. Like that. Because I want to have this raised. And then, let's see here. I'm thinking about either making a turn here and going up. 
this way. Or keep it straight. Um, hmm. Alright, so I think I finally got something going. Um, but I ran into a bit of a space problem, so I think I'm gonna have to push this side out a little bit further down here. Which does mean I'm gonna have to remove this rock, but that's okay. For some reason I wanted to keep this rock, I don't know why. <laughs> it's a nice rock. Anyway, um, so a little bit of change of plans regarding the design of the uh, castle. So I think I'm leaning more towards a, um, what it's called, Adoros from uh, Lord of the Rings. I think it's how you pronounce it, Adoros? The Golden golden Hall or something? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty much a long house. But I think I'm gonna try to make it more castle-like if I can manage it. But yeah, I think that's gonna look pretty freaking awesome. I'm trying to do like a mix of uh, Adoras from Lord of the Rings and uh, Dragon's Reach from Skyrim. I mean, I'm pretty certain uh, Dragon's Reach is inspired by Adoras, actually. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure, of course. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do real quick is just jump into a quick little building time lapse and uh, just get some stuff done. Oh yeah, and uh, don't mind this gate here, it's just a little placeholder. Apparently, for some reason, in order to place a Starkwood gate, you have to have a fort, so yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a placeholder and we're uh, just going to deal with that for now. But yeah, I think a good little time lapse is uh, going to allow me to make some huge progress without spending 25 minutes uh, just talking and stuff. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. Well, somehow I messed up the time lapse. <laughs> I must have fat fingered the uh, record button because one moment I was recording and the other moment I was not. So that's okay though. It was basically me, an hour long footage of me uh, just rebuilding this like two times over. And I think I finally got something that I'm quite happy with. So I'm actually taking a little inspiration from a video from uh, a YouTuber called JJ the Builder. And he made this pretty cool looking castle, which is basically in this like L shape. And then he also has like a keep on this side, which I may or may not build as well. I am I do want to keep somewhere, but I'm not sure where I want to put it yet. I might build it somewhere else, like maybe in the backside over here or maybe somewhere over here. Like this little wall here is also still subject to change. So yeah, but for now, this is the plan. So we're gonna improvise on it and uh, see where we go from here. Um, I do think I want to, let's see here. Yeah, I want to push this out a little bit more, I think. I'm gonna do no stone actually. Uh, oh, we're still doing good. Yeah, I think I farmed up a stone like right over here somewhere. There was one sticking out here, so. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Let's see here, so. Also, we might still end up doing another time lapse again, but we'll have to see. Yeah, I want to push this out by over here. I think so, yeah. At first I wanted to have this evenly, but I think I want to make this part a little bit longer. Like this could possibly be like the main hall, I think. And then I might want to take a step at building a spiral staircase over here. If I can pull it off. Let's see here, maybe if we do something like this. Oh, gravity. Can't forget about that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna turn there and then go up here. Let's see. So we could probably get away with doing. Uh, actually, no. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, maybe something like this. Uh, yeah, I think that could work. I know actually later on, I think once we reach the Ashlands or maybe even in the Mistlands. I think we get access to a spiral staircase, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I think we're just gonna start building this up and uh, see where we go from there. One thing that I'm a little unsure about is this little part. Like I want to have it at this height, but it kind of doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But maybe we'll end up just building up the wall. Also, I'm doing like this little uh, bricklayer's pattern. Like uh, overlapping them like that. 
I mean, in this game, it doesn't serve any functionality, but in real life, it actually provides a little bit more stability. <laughs> so yeah, and it looks kind of better, to be honest. Having them like that in a little pattern. It looks cool. I'm kind of sad, though, that I'm having so much trouble with building this build, because... I don't know, I feel like I should have been making way more progress by now. But unfortunately, I haven't. But you know, that kind of stuff happens every now and then. Like, it's not something you can control. It's okay. We'll make it work, of course. Let's see, I'm gonna build these corners up. Like that. Let's see here. Like a zoo. Then over here. Let's see, I think I wanna have a little bit of a window. To the wall. Just kidding. <laughs> um. Oh, whoops. Don't clip them into each other, please. That. Uh, oops. Need to go up by one more. So do something like this, and then like a zoo. Let's see, and I do already have a kind of a window design in mind, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap one of these over here, like that, and then of course do one of these, like so, and then over here we're gonna do, actually let's do the short ones, like that, and then I wanna have these going like so, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> And then with these fancy windows, I want to put two of these in the middle. And then on the sides over here. And then between that, do I have some iron on me? I do, but I don't have a forge. Dang it, I, I was just at base as well. I forgot to bring the forge. Ah, well, next time. But uh, anyway, in between here, I want to have those, uh, those iron bars. And I think that's going to look pretty freaking good. But yeah, let's move on from that then. Um, do I want to have another window over here? Possibly, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Just going to go ahead and build this up. Missing requirements. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, well, we'll worry about the wall later. Let's go ahead and... I want to show you guys like the more decorative parts. And then I'll do like the bulky stuff. Like on my own. Uh, don't need that one over there. I have one down here and also over here like that and then I have these little arches like a zoo oh oops I like that I really love these arches and I'm trying to incorporate them as much as possible but hopefully not overdo them there we go and then of course here is going to be the gate, but we cannot place them yet, so let's use these as kind of a placeholder for now. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be quite uh, compact, but I prefer castles kind of that way. I was uh, attempting to build like a huge castle, but I don't know. I think uh, from a more compact one would be uh, a little bit better in this case. Alright, let's see here. Um, happy build. Oops. I think I want to put another window over here. Let's go ahead and try and make that work. Uh, need to be more center. Like that. Actually, what I think I should do is do it like that. So that way it's more connected. Well, I guess it didn't matter because it end result is the same. <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah, it is. Oh well. I need to bring this card closer. Uh, why isn't... Oh, there we go. It was still loading in. Let's see here. Do like a zoo. And then those things. And then one of these. On top of there. And the dark wood arch. Amazing. Yeah, I think what we'll do is build up this wall here. And then we're probably going to cut this episode a little bit shorter. I was hoping to be able to make more progress this episode, but 
due to all the complications this episode has already taken me like an entire week <laughs> uh, to be honest i'm getting a little bit anxious so i think it's best if we make a little bit of a shorter episode this time around so that we have at least something out for you guys and then we'll be able to um get the ball rolling again as they say uh in the next episode let's see looking at this i think maybe a keep here in the middle what could look pretty cool or at least some kind of extension Ooh, actually i just had an idea oh is that stone i think it is a stone oh, i thought this was a cliff oh we could still turn it into a cliff if we mine this out I think what I could do potentially is build a bridge coming over to here and then build like a tower coming up here. That idea sounds amazing, but would it fit in this kind of particular build? I'm not really sure. I might have to mess around with that a little bit. Let's see here. Why is this? Uh, something ain't right. Uh, that's okay. We'll just plop this down. That works. <laughs> Go over here. Uh, I should probably go ahead and get some sleepies. Getting foggy too. Here we go. I went ahead and quickly built up the walls over here. So think detail wise. We're gonna put like pillars in these corners. Right over here. I do want to incorporate some kind of uh, core wood. So I think we're gonna use these for the corners. I think that's gonna look pretty good. Uh, actually they... No they need to be this tall. Yeah, at least for now. There we go. I might uh, end up redoing that a little bit. Make them clip them better into each other. Because right now it looks a little bit weird. But um, let's see and think. On each side, I'm going to do something like this. Create like a little overhang. And then of course we're going to support it. Uh, like Maybe we'll end up doing something like this. A little hard to see because of the sun, but I think you guys get the idea. Like that. And then we're gonna hang these things. Oh, no, the upside down ones. Like that. Maybe every two. Uh, actually, yeah, every two meters. So that means we're gonna do something like that. And then, of course, we're gonna build on top of that. Uh, can I jump up here let me just place down one of these yeah and then we're gonna start continuing building up here like that and that's pretty much how the rest of the building is gonna look like probably yeah we're gonna continue with wood on top of here i think that's gonna look a little bit better yeah i do like that already uh let's see maybe we could seal it off like or actually we could use these no that doesn't work what about the fancy wood? Um, I like it, but it doesn't fit, in my opinion. Yeah, let's use these ones. It looks a little bit better. It's nice and clean. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Like that. Wait, did I make those at the bottom? I don't think I did. Uh, no, but I probably should. Yeah, I definitely should. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Yeah, you see that a lot in like uh, a lot of medieval houses mainly. Even like this little overhang. But I think it's gonna add quite a lot to this castle build. Upside down. Like a zoo. And then these things. And then of course place a bunch of these around. Oops. There we go. And let's go ahead and might as well build that all the way around. So that way we have at least an idea of what we're doing here. Looks like there is a good chance I might have to uh, find ways to make this more supported. Because it is already getting yellow. And of course we're going to build up much higher than this. It does look like it might... Give us some complications regarding the roof. So I'm gonna have to look into that. It'll be fine, I think. 
especially when it comes to like these parts. Let's uh, try it out real quick, shall we? See how that goes. Stop zooming in, please. Uh, okay, yeah. Looks like they're gonna connect with each other just fine. So that is awesome. Yeah, that is gonna look pretty good. Of course, we're still gonna build up a little bit higher, but I at least wanted to make sure that it's uh, actually gonna work. And it does. Amazing. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but the thing that keeps throwing me off with this particular build is the bulkiness of the stone. Like, that's why I had to rebuild this thing like a million times already. <laughs> but I'm happy that we're finally getting somewhere now. Makes me a little bit more excited to actually start building this. <laughs> but yeah, with that being done though, I think it's a good time to wrap up this episode here. Next episode, we might be able to actually finish this build. I'm hoping at least. And then I think uh, we're going to have to save the wall for another episode. Because I'm still not 100% sure if I want to keep this like this. But so far I'm liking it. And yeah, the build is coming along really awesome. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> and of course we still need a keep somewhere. If you guys have any suggestions, feel, feel free to let me know of course. But I definitely want a keep somewhere. Possibly on this side. I mean, it might make more sense. Or I could also continue up the spiral staircase and just keep on going. That could be an option. Then it will stick out like right here. But I'm not so sure about that either. But yeah, <laughs> we'll have to see. But anyway, if you guys end up enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and comment if you want. And also if you're new here and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.